We've seen in the previous dashboard video that objects on a dashboard sheet can resize to fit the available screen size, which is very useful for web and mobile. Specifically for mobile, we may want to reconfigure the arrangement of the objects for specific devices, and we can do that through the target concept. So we enter design mode and click edit targets. From here, I can add a new target, specifically phone portrait, and that, as you will see, will fit anything up to 6 inches in screen size. From there, we can lay the objects out as we require for that device. We can specify the number of rows and columns. So for phone, we may just want one object per column, so we'll make the number of columns equal to 2, and the number of rows to 4. From there, we can determine which objects we are going to use. For this video, we'll use all of them. A sensible layout for a phone may be to have the tree map at the bottom. Immediately above that, the time series chart. Above that, we'll have the grid. And finally, we'll have the slices at the top of the report. This may still be too much vertically for a phone screen to handle, so through this field, we can tell it to display only two rows at any given time. The user will then have to scroll down to the next screen to view the charting objects as seen here. So let's come out of design mode and publish this report to the web. So first we make a connection to the web server. We then choose a folder and click publish. So we can go from Excel to web and mobile in just a few short seconds. So having published this report, let's open up Excel Cube to web. So we go to our chosen folder and we'll have a look at the published report. And there it is. We can see that the report will resize in terms of squeezing down and also, if we make the screen significantly smaller, it will assume the phone layout. All the interactivity, of course, is still there. So now let's take a look on a mobile device itself. We open up the Excel Cube mobile app, connect to our server, we then find our report, and there it is. We can make selection changes, we can scroll down through our grid, or we can scroll down to the chart objects. This is all interlinked, so when we select individual items on the chart, the report will update. If I change the orientation of the phone to landscape, you can see everything lays out based on the original design. 